Hi lock lovers, let's talk about some of the reasons why some people want to cut their locks. One of the biggest reasons are is because um, they say the hair isn't growing as fast or fast enough and that's so, so sometimes not true. Remember when you lock your hair, it starts to compress. It's not going to be like when you had it loose and natural. Your hair is growing, but it's also compressing. So you're not going to see that growth because it's constantly compressing to form into that lock. So it is growing, but you're going to notice the growth at a slower rate. It depends on how uh, kinky your hair is. You're going to see uh, that, see, actually see the growth a little bit less or more depending on the texture. But remember, the hair is constantly compressing. So it's not going to look as long as you know loose natural hair so you really have to be just be patient another reason would be the smell some people are shocked like oh what is this nasty smell i'm smelling yeah blocks are not dirty the problem is when you wash your hair and you do not dry it thoroughly you're going to get mildew not good for locks or that mildewy smell to combat that make sure you can use a diffuser or a hair dryer or a blow dryer to dry your locks thoroughly. Another reason would be build up. You know, build up makes your hair look yucky or make it, makes it feel very um, weighed down and you have that sticky feel to it. If, if you have a lot of build up, or you may have that little film, white film uh, over your locks. You can do an ACV, apple cider vinegar treatment, with maybe baking soda to get all of that product buildup out of your locks. You can use, um, well, going forward, going forward, don't use any parabens or waxes. Try not to in your locks because that is going to build up over time. I know that um, vegetable, uh, there are some vegetable based products out there be careful with them because after a while they do build up but you do have that option when it does build up to use the acv treatment but try to stay away from waxes and parabens and if possible use a residue free shampoo and i know neutrogena makes a very good one another reason would be lint lint in locks is not attractive it's not attractive i know from experience to combat that, you can certainly use a satin scarf and cover your hair down every night or cover your the half of your bed with satin-like material to avoid lint coming in your locks. And when you're going to shampoo your hair, you can take a baby brush or a very soft brush, soft bristles brush, and brush any topical lint that you see. Or even if you don't have any uh, lint in your locks. There, the, the, I'm sorry, all the particles from the air, just everyday particles, you know, they land on those locks. Shake your locks out before you wash them. You would be surprised. Go into the light, uh, go into that natural light and shake your locks. You'll be surprised. You'll see little sprinkles of dirt from all over, from wherever you've been sprinkling right down so you can shake your locks out before you shampoo and certainly use a small baby brush to brush uh, some of that topical lint out but if the lint is embedded please do not pick at the lock you're going to weaken the lock you're going to weaken that bond instead you may have to opt for coloring the um the lint yes that sounds horrible but you do not want limp broken locks another reason would be people some people say well oh my locks are very thin you know you just started out you're two months in four months in well they they are going to be thin at first but remember as they grow they expand they they thicken they swell they're not going to stay that way forever those are new starter locks but as they start to grow and fall out into the teenage stage they're going to thicken up and once they start to mature it's going to go through another stage again they're going to compress again they're not going to be as thin as when you started but they're going to start to compress again and some people say after seven years their locks stop 
changing, but I can tell you, I mean, it's been seven, seven and three quarter years for me and my locks are still changing and yours will continue to change, especially if you combine a few locks or get a, a, a haircut. And speaking of haircuts, lock haircuts take very long to grow out. So go to an experienced loctician, a loctician that specializes in haircuts to do that for you. If you cannot afford it or you do not want to go to a loctician, I didn't go to one to cut mine and I made a disastrous cut but I don't regret it. I don't want to go anywhere. But if you want to do it, just remember do not cut the lock at an angle. You're not cutting at an angle. You want to cut straight across. So even if you want your locks to fall this way, this way, this way, instead of cutting diagonally like you would for a traditional loose natural haircut, you're going to cut across and make it go the way that you want to. Otherwise, you will have unraveling locks because you're cutting into a diagonal. Trust me, I have done that to the front. Man, goodness, it wasn't anywhere else. And also, sometimes your locks that are on the perimeter of your, your head, they're not going to lock the same way as the rest of your hair. And that's maybe because you have different grades of hair, different types of hair, uh, in each section of your head. That's just how you're made. So you're going to have to deal with it, modify stuff. <sighs> My locks in the front, look at those frizzies. Wait for it, wait for it. Look at that. Ooh, frizzies, frizzies. Wait for it. Yep. I don't even bother anymore. You can camouflage, um, a lot of your frizzies and loose hair, loose hair, with a lot of curls and crinkles. A lot of that. Don't worry about it. And also some people say, well, you know, I, I understand it's, it's going to take a while to grow out. But in the meantime, what am I going to do with my hair? The answer is the same thing you would have done if you had permed hair and it was short or loose hair and it was short. Go to the mall and... You don't have to get something natural looking with a canty cloth design or anything. Get what everyone else is wearing, those nice little pretty hair bands and stuff. Accessorize your locks. Put little clips in there with little diamonds or whatever. You will look cute. You're going to look cute. Remember, all of the styles that you can do with loose hair, permed hair, blow dried hair, you can do with locks. And I want to show you guys some newbie locks that people have, people are rocking, even though they have frizzies or loose natural hair, you know, all over. And they're just working with it. They're working with what they have and they look beautiful. Let me post those, okay? and accessorizing with makeup and you know jewelry makes a big difference too let's just look at this example okay try a head scarf if you don't want to pull your hair together it's a bad hair day or try accessorizing with pops of color with makeup or you can try something like beautiful little starry little things that you wouldn't traditionally think of for wearing with locks. It's a nice pop of color, pop of surprise. And look at these newbies. I love the way he's rocking this, unafraid and looking really beautiful. Look at her. Look at the way she has a traditional style but in her own funky locks. I love the way this one is embracing that beautiful short look. And as I said, makeup and well done brows makes a very big difference. Okay, lock lovers, until next time, bye.